If you don't already own a set of trim removal tools and you plan on working on your Cayenne, you should get a good set. They are absolutely necessary for working on modern vehicles. We use the Schwaben set with great success. Begin by parking your Cayenne on a flat surface so that you can work on the door without it swinging open or shut. Use a clean, thin trim removal tool and starting at the door handle then, gently pry the trim piece away from the door, red arrow. This will give you access to the single T30 Torx screw behind, green arrow. Use a T30 Torque and remove the screw, red arrow. Use a trim removal tool and gently pry the upper trim piece away from the door, red arrows. There are a series of hooks that hold the trim panel in place, red arrows. After you release the clips, you need to slide the piece towards the rear of the door to clear the hooks. Use a T30 torque and remove the single screw at the end of the door, red arrow. Use a trim removal tool and pry the armrest up from the panel, red arrows. There are a series of clips that hold the armrest in place, red and blue arrows. With the armrest removed, use a T30 torque and remove the single screw at the rear of the panel indicated by the red arrow. Remove the lower trim piece by using a trim removal tool and prying it away from the panel. There are a series of clips that hold it in place. It has a lip that fits into the front, red arrow. Insert this first when reinstalling. Use a T30 torque and remove the screw at the base of the handle indicated by the red arrow. Use a trim removal tool and remove the cap on the end of the handle and use a T30 torque and remove the screw underneath. Remove the door pull from the handle. Use a T27 torque and remove the single screw on the bottom of the panel by the door light and indicated by the red arrow. Use some large trim removal tools and start at the lower corner and pry the panel away from the door. It may take some serious force to release the clips. Try and get the tool as close to the clips as possible. These clips may break, so be prepared and order some extra in advance. Once all the clips are free, you need to lift the panel up. It again will take some force. Make sure you grasp it in a strong place on the panel and lift it up and off of the door. With the panel separated from the door, you need to disconnect the electrical connections and the Bowden cable. Start by disconnecting the speaker cable, if equipped, red arrow. Release the clip, red arrow, and rotate the purple lever, blue arrow, on the electrical connection for the wiring to the door control unit. Squeeze in on the tabs on the Bowden cable connection, red arrows, then slide the cable back and up and out, blue arrow. Rotate it and remove the ball end from the handle. If the door clips break, just replace them. The clips just slide into the mounts on the panel. Installation is the reverse of removal. Torque the T30 and T25 screws to 3.5 newton meters or 2.5 pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.